Okay guys, today I'm going to show you how to make a halter um, for your bride horse. As you can see, I am using OT Ceremony RSI because I am making three halters. Um, three, sorry. Um, because I am making them for a special someone. Um, any of you guys who know Honey Heart 27, um, I am making halter, well, three halters for some of her horses, but not Rainbow, not Rainbow. Rainbow is just, gets everything. So, I'm doing it, them all on Music Made since she has a lot of molds of them. So, let's get started. So, here's what you guys will need. You guys will need ribbon. I am using purple glitter, glitter, uh, glitter ribbon um, for purple and pink. And I'm using blue, which apparently needs to be reeled up. But I will reel that up later. You will need a hot glue gun, which is right here. Um, you will, in case, you will need extra glue. Um, just for safety, you will need, if you want to be safe, use toothpicks to pick up the glue. Um, then you will either need paper or like paper towel or something to put the glue on and then scoop it up and then, you know, put it and you get a good amount too. Um, of course, you will need the small rings and the big rings. Um, I don't think there's anything else I should mention. Oh, yes, of course. Scissors. Let's get started. So, Honeyheart27 has, well, I'm making three halters for three of her horses. They are, there's Smokey, well, Smoke, um, Make-A-Wish, and O.T. Sarah Monet, but she calls her music main. So, first, well, the colors I will, well, the color I will be using, and you can do multiple colors if you want. Um, I'm going to be using blue first. So, what you're going to do going to take the end of it, take your scissors and make it even. Next, um, let's open this. I usually get jewelry rings. Finally got them open. Okay, grab one. And you will need five big rings in all. You will take one of these. Um, there's usually a shiny side. This one, there isn't a shiny side. I like to grab the ones without shiny sides because then you don't need to worry. So you're going to fold it like this. And here comes the gluing. So if you are going, of course, well, yeah, of course you're going to be gluing. But, um, oh my god, what's wrong with me? You're going to grab your paper or, you know, whatever you have for safety. And you're going to put a little bit on. But wait, before you put anything on, you are going to want to get a toothpick. It's good to have multiple toothpicks. And put a bit right here. It's really hot. And then put it that back. And you're going to grab some really quick. It dries really quick, so make sure you go fast. I think I might be too late. Oh, no, I'm not, no, I'm not. Perfect seal. I'm sorry if I'm not videotaping good, but it's just a really hard place to um, do this at. Okay, this is better. This is like way better. I adjusted the camera. So now, what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your mare. It's kind of hard with her. Let me sort of zoom in. Oh, if I can. That's like a perfect angle. Focus! Perfect. No, wait. 
Um, you're gonna just look down at her muzzle right now. What you're gonna do is you're going to take it like this and measure it probably about to the same spot the ribbon is, like right there. You can see that? Yes, you can. And then you're gonna cut it, but I can't because I'm at a really weird angle right now. So let me zoom out. And I will show you. P.S. Um, cut your ribbon to a certain length first. Then you're going to want to um, put an extra ring down. Let's see. Here we go. Up to about here. And then you're going to start measuring. And I'll show you what it looks like. Okay. As you can see, I have measured her. I didn't really make it all yet but what you're gonna do is you're gonna take that and fold it to that point if you can see that focus well if you can kind of see that you're gonna keep it at that point excuse me music made I'm going to take your paper put some glue on Take your toothpick very quickly. Put some on. Like that. And squish it. It doesn't matter if it's you know um crooked. So what you're gonna do next, excuse me, is you're going to cut it. Don't cut the glue, or else it might be ruined. So now you have this part. It goes on the muzzle. That's oh, a bit too long, but I'll fix that. I will. Okay, now what you're gonna do is you're gonna take this part and put it through one of the rings. Um, we're going. See, it's gonna go like this. Make sure the folds don't show. Fold it onto that ring. You're not gonna, well, yeah, now you're gonna glue it. I'm sorry if I'm feeling, filming like really bad. I'm just at a super weird angle and I don't have any other place to do this at. And then of course you're gonna put the right amount of glue there and press down on it. Take off the pieces of glue there. And cut the extra off, because it just looks nicer. Okay, next, you're going to take another ring, and you're going to slide it down, just like this. If you can see that, I think you can. Then you're going to take the end of your string and poke it through the other end. Um, try to make it straight. See if I can. Here we go. And as you can see, it makes a little hole. Then I'm going to take Music Made. Sorry, music made. I'm gonna have to lie you down. Cause I'm at this, and you're going. If you can see that, let me zoom in. I'm sorry, guys. This is really hard for me. And you're going to tighten it. And you're going to like slip it off, sort of, to make sure it's like measured correctly. So you can like slip it on and off because you don't want it to be too tight. Like that, sort of. Focus! Seriously, this stupid camera. I love it. But 
Okay, guys. So when you have a perfect circle, sort of like that, what you're gonna do is you're gonna glue that. Oh my god, I'm so sorry. I will get her after I glue this. Uh, yes, I know my toothpick has paper on it. That's normal. And as you can see, that's good. This makes the muzzle part of it. After that, you are going to cut it off. Just like that. And now I'm going to pick Music Made Up and show you. So as you can see, I would say it's a pretty good size. Yeah, I think it's a pretty good size. And it's good enough so you can like slip it off really easily. So now let's teach you how to make this part of the halter. Okay, um, you will need a ring for this part. Oh my god, my dog. I'm so sorry, you guys. So, what you guys are going to do is you're going to slip the ribbon through whichever hole you want to start with. Like that. And don't make it this one. Don't, um, don't make it the one that's dangling, sort of. See this one? Yeah, don't do that one. Do either one. And, I, and again, you don't want this part showing. So, I'm gonna glue this. We're gonna take it. Glue it so it has the perfect amount. And by the way, this is just the safest part, because you don't won't, won't burn your hands. I mean, you could if you, like, put your hand in the glue or something on accident, but, you know. Oh, here we go. And then you're gonna put it, this part on her muzzle. Um, keep it there. Take the rest of your ribbon. Get a ring, slide down. It's gonna meet me down there. gonna get it to a point about up to um here let me see about to this cheekbone right here and you're gonna just hold that part down okay and of course you're going to take some glue put the perfect amount on there okay that's that got dried out before I could do anything, so. Take another piece. And you're gonna fold it sort of like that. And then take the excess glue off. And then you're gonna look at your halter and clip off the part that's not needed. Which is this part, the part that's not attached. I mean, like, not glued. So. Alright, you have this part. Um. So you have, like, that. Just like that. As you can see, now all you need to do is go to the other side and do the exact same thing as we did with the first part I just did. All right, guys. So, um, okay, you can't really see her. So, this is what it's gonna end up like. You're going to have two parts, just like that. And as you can see, I did both sides. So, let's get on to the next part. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your ribbon and put it in, fold it, of course. Um, and you're going to glue this part on your paper. Glue some on your paper. Put some glue on your paper. Then put it right there and glue. 
Now, this is sort of tricky with music made, but not. I'm sorry, not music made. No, not music made. Sheesh. I'm in a weird position. I'm sorry, guys. You're gonna take it under their chin. Um, see right here. It's loose, and you're going to. Around. And we're going to put this in through. But this is the tricky part. You don't want any twists in your halter on the bottom. So that's why we're supposed to go under them. I'm sorry guys if you can't see, it's right here. Um, you're going to, okay, never mind. One sec, sorry about that, that was my sister, yuck. Um, once you've got it measured, you're going to sort of slip it out and do this. This part is the only fold that will actually show, not on purpose though, on accident, because I really, it's really tricky to, you know, do it without losing your spot. So anyways, then you're going to take your glue and put the perfect match on, and glue it. Then you're going to cut it. Perfect. So, again, this is going to be the only fold that I'll, that I'll actually show. So, wait. Um. Oh my god, I think I did a fold. So far. By the way, this does not go over the top. It goes on the bottom. Like this. If you can see that. She's far away. Okay. So now um, you are going to put this through your ring. So you can see. Take some glue. Oh, and you know that routine. You guys all know that routine. I have been showing it to you guys lately. Cut off the excess. Go all the way to the end of your string. And do the same thing. Except you don't glue the last part. You're going to sort of unfold this sort of like that. You're going... And it fits. Then you're going to go to the other side. Oh my god. It is so hard with your flowing mane. So then, I'm going to take it. I would cut it about here. Then, put that ribbon over there. Now, this is when the mini rings come in. You're going to pour, well, pour a couple out. Just take two though. This is the hardest part. What you're going to do, is so you're going to take some glue. No stick with this part. I'm going to put a lot of glue there. Not really. And stick it together. Stick them both together and 
link them together. Just like that. Um, let me zoom in on it. Focus. You can see that, right? I believe you can. Um, if it is bendy, like mine, that means, well, means it might be bad. So, what you're gonna do, is you're gonna take your glue gun, and barely put any glue on, in those spots, and clank them together, again, just for extra measures. And this is, we call this a, well, I call it a buckle. You are going to put it through the rope, well, the ribbon. Um, and put it through the ribbon. You just cut. Sorry, guys, my hands are in the way. Um, like that. As you can see. And then you're gonna slide it a bit off. Because we're not finished. This would be easier if she could, like, move her mane or something. We're gonna take that off. And there's one thing missing. Um... It's this part. There's a part that goes under their chin besides this part. I will show you right now. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna fold this right here right on that part that goes under their chin. Sort of. Make it long. Okay, gonna take your glue. Put a little or a lot, it's better if it's a lot. And you're going to smush it together. And it's wiggly. That's good, that's very good. Now, usually I would keep it long, but since this is for a special person, I'm not going to make it long because a lot of people don't like their lead ropes permanently attached to their halters. And I wouldn't like it either, but it's easier just to finish it off like that. So this is what I usually do. I pull it through. Untwist it. And there you have it. But in this case, I'm not going to do that. You're not going to measure your horse or anything. No, you do not have to do that this time. Um, so now, then you're going to fold it. Just like that, under it. You're going to take your glue gun and just glue it. Useless glue right here. All this weird glue. Then you're going to cut this part off. And then there you have it. You have your halter. Now the rest of your ribbon, use this ribbon as a lead rope. So. Um, I'm not really, I don't put anything fancy on the end. I just tie it to the ring. I will show you how it looks. Alright, so this is what it's going to look like. Okay, this part was a bit too long. This, this last part. 
you can fix that too. Maybe we did have to measure it. But, you know. Wait, let's see if it was just, no, nope. it really is too big. But I can fix that. If you wanna fix that, just tear off this part. I'm going to cut some of it off. Maybe a bit more. Just like that. And then you're gonna glue it, like I said. Okay, so this is what I got. Let's see. I think it's pretty good. Gives a bit of space, I guess. But anyways, that's my tutorial, how to make a halter. Um, again, with the rest of the ribbon, I just tie it on to the halter. So thank you guys for watching. Um, Hopefully I can do some more videos, of course. Thank you guys. Bye.